Yeah, hi, Kate. Yes, hi. Where are you? Well, I'm um, at a traffic light. Yeah, very funny. Listen, um, come to Pierrefontaine uh, near the station by the river, okay? Yeah, of course. What's up? Doesn't matter. Look, how long will it take you to get here? Well, I know the place. Uh, about eight minutes. Good. Okay, I'll see you now. Get an ambulance! Get an ambulance! For what? Oh, oh, there's, there's a clinic nearby. Let's take the baby there. Okay. An ambulance is going to take too long. Let's take this blanket off. Let's get this off. Okay. Oh. oh, hello. Oh, she's so dirty. Here, yeah, come. Here we go. Okay. Oh. Okay, there's some wipes here. Oh, it's making warm. Let's clean them up a bit. Come on, come on, Kate, come on. Listen, I've got a baby for you. You can't come in like this. No, he's just come out of the sewer. Can't you see? I can smell. Listen, this baby needs urgent attention, okay? Hmm? You have to fill in this form. Are you the father? No, no, I found the baby. I don't have the... No! Listen, is this a clinic, huh? Are you nurses or what? Okay, look, this baby needs urgent attention now, and I mean now. Forget the paperwork and just come and help us. He's come from the sewer. Okay. Oh, 
He needs a bath. Is it a he or she? I, I don't know. There was no time to... Listen, um, I need a bath as well. Where is it? The men's room is down the passage. Okay. What were you doing there in the first place? I mean, first thing in the morning, before the weekend meeting... Kate, don't you listen to the six o'clock news? No. Why? <sighs> Look, our rivers are polluted. I was, um, looking at one of the worst spots. Why? 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 Because I thought it needed further investigation. So, instead, you fished out a baby. Listen, um, I'll see you at the uh, meeting, okay? I'm gonna get rid of this smell. Shit. What next? Casey, what are you working on? Scandal of corruption. I'm still trying to find Babyface Bloom. He skipped bail. I'm sure he skipped the country by now. Unlikely. He's wanted by Interpol. He's wanted by most countries in the world. The States, Europe, and Israel. Personally, I think he's hiding out Gauteng. But he'll be very difficult to find, don't you think? No problem. I'll watch his lawyer. I'll tail him. I know him and his reputation. He's a bit of a shady character. He'll lead me to Babyface Bloom. No problem. Okay, we'll see if you can find him. We need an exclusive on this one. Diane, what do you want to? From stars to beggars, the Mozzizi brothers living in poverty, copyright disputes with record companies, their discs still selling abroad. Good story. Also talk to some radio stations related to local content. It's becoming a bad habit, Kate. You're always late. Now, where's Hank? I'm sorry, Stan, but Hank had a baby to deliver, and now he's having a bath. <laughs> what? That's <laughs> not funny. No, it's not very funny. I mean, he's just saved a new life. He swam in the sewer with his baby, and there was the waste pipe. What? Oh, wait. Never mind. Oh, I can smell. Yeah, 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 OK. Mm. Now, listen, um, I was going to do this story on pollution, OK? And then I found this baby in a waste pipe. So I think this is something we should follow up. What? The baby? No, 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 no. How did they get there in the first place, hmm? I mean, how can anybody abandon their baby? Well, according to the latest statistics I've seen, over a hundred babies are abandoned every month, and that's just in the Greater Johannesburg area. This is just the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. The best thing you can do, Hank, is to contact the Child Protection Unit. And also, look into the question of child abuse. That's covered almost daily by the newspapers. You need to do a case study. What's behind the scenes? What's the cause? Okay, anything else? All right, everybody, get on with it. People are eating. What? Smoking. What's yours, dear? Cigarettes. We sell no cigarettes here, you know. Die, Ruth must know what you're gonna have. Oh, sorry, Ruth. Cheese sandwich, please. Okay, dear. Thank you. Thanks. I wish you'd stop smoking. I know, I know. I'm trying to give it up. Hey, Diane, smell. Does it smell nice? Mmm. -hmm. Mmm, I've had a nice shower. It came out of a waste pipe covered in sewage and slime. Oh, no, I hope it's not full of germs. Hey, there are no germs on me. Cigarettes help to kill germs. And you, too, and me. Mmm, exactly. Hey, I wonder how the baby's doing. Have you had any children? Oh, I bet you he's had dozens the way he carries on with women. Now listen, guys, thank you very much. I don't carry on with anybody, OK? They carry on with me. All this chit-chat, I have work to do. You better get along. We have a paper to produce.
Yeah, hello? Hi, yeah, is this uh, Pierre Fontaine Clinic? Great, reception, please. Hi, yeah. Listen, I came in this morning with a muddy baby, yeah. What? Well, how should I know if it's a boy or a girl? No. Yeah, I, no, I don't know. Well, you don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I... Yeah, forget it. Yeah, no, just forget it. Followed Babyface's lawyers into a house in Houghton. Yeah, number 16 Roseanne Street. Will you find out who it belongs to? Thanks, bye. This is the good life. I'm living the moment, guys. And you guys are you guys are supposed to look up to me. Keep that's why we're standing here today. This is not going to get you I am where I want to be. Abandoned. No parents in sight. This one is looking for a home. Isn't he lovely? He's too beautiful. Mm. Naughty. Yeah. He's just learning to work. Mm. No. No. This one, lucky, has been abused by both his parents. He had a lot of trouble with him. In and out of hospitals. But he's getting better now. Hmm? Yeah. So, um... Hello, little one. So where do they come from and where do they go? We find them in dustbins. We find them in the doorsteps of churches. Some of them are abandoned by their mothers at the hospitals where they give birth. But where they go, we don't know. We don't have enough homes and we don't have enough foster parents.
Thank you. Have a nice day. I used to buy all your records. Um, what went wrong? I mean, you were, you, you are very famous. Things are tough, so tough. Sometimes I get desperate. I don't know what to do. But why? For three decades, you've reigned supreme in South Africa and overseas. I mean, you've got a reputation. Whenever we go to a record company, we had a contract since 1968. What treated like strangers? Sometimes it's like a joke, like a joke. They never explained to us anything about the contract. We were young, very young. Come inside and have some tea. looks after me. She's got a good job. She works at the hospital. And what about your copyright disputes? What do your lawyers say? Sugar, milk, white, please, too sweet. Oh, in our country, the law doesn't protect us, artists. In Europe, America, the artist is protected. Recording companies, they cheat us. Musicians even go to an extent, they copy your songs and record them. It's the radio stations, Papa. They play all the stuff from overseas, Miss. I know. Ah, let's not get too depressed, OK? Papa, why don't you give us a song so we can see how you can still do oh, it? Oh, that's good. Oh, please. Mm -hmm. oh, all right, let's put the song back. Um, <laughs> Then I told me I make a mal in good days. Now he told I forgot it. Where's in Nancy? Isn't only Zazinizi. Go to the middle of Abona Yotrazi. Was a mini Nizoy Boni Tombi and this I pupa ebu sugu na semini. Iyo yoda, iyo yoda, iyo yotwa engiye tanda yo. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Hi there, um, I'm Hank Molope from the City Post, and we're here to see Captain Naidu. Take a seat, please. He won't be a moment. Thank you very much.
Yeah, hi. Um, reception. Yeah, um, listen, my name's Hank Molefe. Um, I brought in a muddy baby early on today. Yeah. No, I don't know the baby's name. Yeah. No. Okay, listen, I'll, I'll phone back later. Thanks. Okay, bye. Kate, no one knows about my baby. Hmm. Aren't you full of surprises, eh? Thank you, sir. Captain Idu will see you now. Oh. Down the passage, first door on the left. Thanks very much. Thank you. Okay. I have a two-year-old boy and a three-year-old boy. No, 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 they can't stay here. This is urgent. I know. OK. Thank you. How can I help you? Hi, Captain Naidu. I'm, I'm Hank Molefe. This is Kate Stain, and we're from the City Post. Now, we're looking into child abuse, abandonment, and uh, its causes. Causes? <laughs> you should better speak to a sociologist. But I think some of the factors relate to the breakdown of family, to unemployment and to poverty. Mm. So do you have any statistics on abuse? Last year, there were over 35,000 reported cases of child abuse nationally. Over 13,000 cases of child rape. Isn't that disgusting? Yeah. Captain Naidu, do you think that we can go with one of your officers on a case? Possibly. Yes, um, you need permission. Yeah, well, we do have approval from the uh, Department of Safety and Security. I'll talk to them later, but first, let me introduce you to one of our officers on duty. Um, excuse me. Excuse me for a moment. <clears throat> so, um, what are you? What do you mean? Well, what's your job? I don't understand what you're getting at. Okay, put it this way. Are you a photographer? So? So, my dear darling Kate, why don't you just take pictures of Captain Naidu and stop trying to do my job? Just shut your big mouth. Firstly, don't call me my dear darling Kate, because I'm not. Secondly, you are the most chauvinistic man that I have ever had. Um, this is uh, Sergeant de Villiers. She's about to go out on a case now. Hi, call me Haneke. Please come, we have to rush. It's a rather urgent case. I'll explain the rest in the car. Thanks. Thanks very much, Captain Mike. Come, we can go in my car. about a dysfunctional family. There are four daughters between the ages of eight and 16. The husband has left the family home. He claims that the mother is always drunk and that there are a lot of strange men in the house. The father called the social security officer and threatened to become a suicide bomber. And blow himself and the daughters up unless we get the children away from the mother and let them stay with him.
I'll be back in a minute. This is a very dangerous area. It's too risky for us to go on our own, so I've arranged for a police car to come with us. What was that all about? What? 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 You know what, Hank? This attitude. You've got this attitude. Okay, grow up, will ya? Jeez. Just, just, just grow up. I, I just think you're too immature for this job. You are so arrogant and selfish and self-obsessed. You know, you can just find yourself another photographer, Hank. I'm not working with you. Yeah, 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 dear Kate. Jeez, such a baby. Here we go. We've got two guards. There's a lot of gang warfare in this area. The police have been attacked. Um, I, I wouldn't go here on my own. You're not allowed to photograph the girls you know. They're underage. Yeah, I know. I'll concentrate on you. I can always black out their faces. Okay. Hello. I'm Sergeant Avilius from the Child Protection Unit. I'm here to see your father. You're the daughter of Mr. Smuts, aren't you? Yes, ma'am, I am. Is your father in? No, ma'am. Uh, will he be here soon? Do you expect him? Who is it? It's the people from the police. What do they want? We've come to see Mr. Smuts on his request. Don't you think it would be better if we came inside? Father's not here. He will come. Please sit down. Okay, we'll wait so long. I just want to talk to you girls. Uh, I'll ask you a few questions, if that's okay. Firstly, where is your mother? She's at work. She comes home after 6 o'clock. Okay. Um, your father says that your mother beats you and that her boyfriend tried to shoot you. Is that true? We had to take the garbage out. We had to clean the house. We had to weed the yard. And then her boyfriend says that we must leave the house. It was getting late. There are gangs on the street at night. He also wanted me to go to the Shabin and buy my bottle of brandy. I said I wanted to stay in my house. This is my house. He had a gun and he put it on my head. He said he was going to shoot all of us. And what did your mother say? My mother hit me in the face. Did she hit you with her fist? You should wait till father comes. I don't think you should be talking about this. You weren't there. You were sleeping with the other man. What other man? Mr. Smith. You're lucky you're here now. Otherwise, you would have found us all dead. I would have blown us all up. We're just here to try and help, Mr. Smuts. That's all. I've worked all my life. These children, I brought them up. Their mother is a loose woman. She's got lots of boyfriends. Strange men in the house. This girl, since she was 13, has slept with strange men. I tell you, I don't want my children in this house. Okay, just calm down. That's why we're here. We're here to try and help. And who the hell are you? City Post. Who the hell do you think you are photographing my children? Give me hey, that camera. Hey, 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 just calm down, okay? No one's photographing your children. Just stay calm, all right? Do you see what he's like? Do you see? He's always hitting mother like that. Shut up, you clean slit. Quiet, everybody. Just calm down now. 
you're not listening to me and I've got a very good point to make. I just think it's very important. You want to improve the quality of what you're you playing to people, of what they're listening to. Yeah. Okay. I ask you again, in terms of your license, are you not committed to having local content stations? Look, we know our license terms, but you clearly don't know what to do. The Motsitsi brothers are wonderful musicians, mm -hmm. but more importantly, they're an essential part of our heritage, tradition and history. Okay, lady, okay. We'll see what we can do. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What have you got to say for yourself? I was on a story. I had a windfall. I found Babyface Bloom. Uh, where's he now? Gone with the wind? I had to find out. Did you find out whose house it is? Yes, I did. And you should have waited before you acted so hot-headedly. You entered the home of the Minister of Industry. What were you thinking? Ah, but my friends and colleagues, I have the form that they did not get. On this form, ladies and gentlemen, is a picture of Babyface Bloom, his lawyer, and what must be the minister. So what you gonna do now, huh? What you gonna say about that? What have we got here? A trespass. A front page scoop. I've got enough. Good show. Carry on. Thank you. We'll send the social workers late today to see if they can find a place of safety for your daughters, just for the time being. so much for our bodyguard. It's obvious that Mr. Smuts is a violent man, but as far as the bombings are concerned, I fear he was only bluffing. We'll continue to follow up this matter, but uh, it now needs to be handled by the courts and the social workers, rather. Why do you look so grim? I don't look grim. She always looks grim. Well, if that's the way you feel about me, I'm going to go sit somewhere else. Coco, can I have a word, please? Hi, Diane. You look very happy today. Thank you, Hank. Can't it wait? No. No, it can't. Joe's cut my story to pieces. So what do you want me to do about it? Well, I don't know. Where's Stan? He's chopped my story to pieces. He's massacred my work, and he's trying to humiliate us. Stan went to Cape Town, and he won't be back until next week. Joe was in charge, that's that. No, that's unacceptable. That's stupid. Sure, he's got a temper on him. Joe should have been retired a long time ago. He's a very destructive person. Now look here. Joe has been in journalism before you were born. He did very well in the apartheid era. And what's that supposed to mean? It means that he wasn't exactly fighting for free speech, was he? I suppose you could say he was a bit of a wimp. Joe is practical and he's efficient. He's exactly what we need on our crew. Joe is Stan's doormat, and we do not need a doormat or a dummy. I am in charge now, and that is my decision. I don't believe it. No, I don't believe it. I mean, we've got a story here of vast national interest, issues that affect the vast majority of the population, that affect thousands of families, children, women, babies, and you relegate it to two columns somewhere inside the newspaper. What's wrong with you? Now you're getting emotional. When you're in that state, I'm not prepared to discuss it with you any further. 
can't believe it. I can't believe him. I can't believe him. You got a cigarette? I thought you quit. Yeah, I have, but I need one now. All right, then. That's right. bizarre. If I would have stayed in there a moment longer, I would have strangled the guy. Come on, relax, man. You win some, you lose some. No, Casey, it's not that simple. All right? We're dealing with important issues here, things that matter. Okay, this looks drastic, I think. You're good for a doctor. Do it. Pick me up. Let's go for a drink. Yeah, I need one. Bye. Yes? That's wonderful. I'm thrilled. I always thought that your radio station had a commitment to local content. I know, they deserve it. Wow, thank you very, very much. Thanks. Okay, bye. <laughs> it's about bloody time. What? I've got a three-week season on Gauteng Radio for the Motsiti brothers. Who's the Motsiti brothers? George. Yeah. Do they work? Yeah. George, they are amazing musicians. <laughs> Forget it. Listen, I've got something much more amazing for you. Especially for you. Look at this. George, I look, really don't look. need any more earrings. Oh, no, come George, thanks. Oh, no, they're specially for you. George, I'm, they're really nice, but I, I just don't think they're my style. What is your style, darling? George, I like a Byzantine style. You see, it's fine, but it's bold. Bold, but not beautiful. Look, this is beautiful. Look, that thing doesn't go with this top. And those earrings are dull. Do you think so? George, yes. I don't want a pair of earrings. Oh, come on, die. Just one pair. Okay, George, I'll take one pair. Okay, now you see, the thing about these earrings is you take one pair and you pay 10 rand. If you take three pairs, you pay 11.75. George, I want one. I want one. Okay, I'll throw in a CD. Okay, thanks, George. Thanks. <laughs> I'll, I'll invoice you tomorrow, six no, months George. to pay easy terms. I don't want an invoice. I'll pay you cash. Cash now. Cash? You get an extra pay. Okay. Thanks, George. Here you go. Thank ah, you. Oh, thank thanks. you. Okay, thank you. I'm away okay. from you, Diane. Let me do my stuff. Front page. We can't have pictures of babies on the front page. How come? They don't sell. But these babies need homes, Coco. That's the story. Coco, I've decided to put Babyface Bloom and the minister on the front page. Bloom's been arrested. The minister's about to be suspended. Where's uh, Casey? Um, he went out with Hank. Yeah, so con artists and scandals are more important than the future of our country. Find Casey. I need him. Yes, sir. I'll get him on the cell phone. Jimmy, Jimmy, uh, get us another round. Same again. So they knocked you about a bit then, hmm? Nah, all part of a job. I told you my name is Arthur, not John. You need hearing aid. I said Jimmy, not Johnny. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur, 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 make the double, sir. Thanks. Not much of a private life in this job, huh? I wonder how the baby's doing. Oh, they arrested him this morning. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Baby face. Oh, that one. Oh. Martha, fill him up. Double, please. Oh, man. Mm. It, was, it was so tiny. It was so tiny. No, he's a big guy. Huh? No, Casey, man, you're not listening to me. No, no, the waste pipe baby, the waste pipe baby. 
you know, I mean, I crawled in after that baby. I crawled into that muddy, dirty drain pipe. <laughs> a bit like giving birth, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, I went into a dirty, filthy waste pipe. Oh, man, I love that baby. Tell you what, I wouldn't crawl into a drain pipe if it paid me a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Say. You didn't catch any disease or plagues or anything like that, huh? No, I'll tell you what, they were pickled by now anyway. <laughs> Cheers. Say, about that uh, stuff I said about you being a returnee and everything, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean it. Uh, that's all right, man. That's fine. It's just a. Uh, listen, listen to this, right? Mm. I got a friend, a really good friend, and uh, he, he was chased the other day by this gang, okay? These, these four guys, they chased him, and they cornered him, and one of the guys, he, 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 he takes out a gun, points it at my friend's chest, pulls the trigger, Ooh. the gun jams, right? The yeah. gun jams. So my, my, my friend, he drops his bag, and he, and he just runs for it. Now, he, he realizes that he's got all his stuff yeah, in his to bag. The point, yeah, okay, the point. now listen, listen, listen. Now, he, he get, he's got all his stuff in his bag, so he thinks, okay, I just need my stuff back. I'll, I'll, I'll phone up my cell phone and see if these guys, I can give them money for my stuff, right? So he phones up the cell phone, and the guy answers the phone and says, oh, hi, brother. Oh, yeah, you're the guy whose bag it is, brother. Look, we're really sorry, brother. You know, we, we, you know, we looked through your bag, and we thought, oh, my gosh, you know, you're a South African. You know, we thought you were a foreigner. We were, we were looking for foreigners. They were looking for foreigners. Yeah, wait. They okay, nearly fine, killed my friend fine. because listen, they were looking for foreigners. Listen to what me. Is that? Hey, listen to me. I got one for you. A kid, 14 years old, right? She walks into her house, no, her friend's house, who's also 14. She hears a friend screaming. In the hallway, she walks past this dark man, Mozambican or something or whatever. That man has raped her. Three months later, Hank, she's HIV positive. No. No, no, listen, look, my friend, okay, is also dark, okay? I mean, what, what, what kind of a country are we becoming? How can we treat our fellow Africans like that, eh? Those people that sheltered us and, and looked after us during the dark days of apartheid. It doesn't matter if I'm a returnee. It doesn't matter, you know? Listen, listen, Casey, right? Now we live in a country of many cultures and many different languages. We have to start, okay? We here, we have to start to celebrate those differences. Thank you. Fine. Just one thing. Say it, Lamy. What? Come on, just for me. Say, Lamy. <laughs> <laughs> you say tomato, I say potato. Let's call the tomato, I say potato. You say, you say. I mean, we were looking for you, Casey. Oh, come, have a drink with us, George. Yeah. No, I, we were trying to get you on your cell phone. But yeah, yeah, I switched it off. I am in a private meeting. Yes, hey, Georgie, Georgie, what do you want? Arthur. Uh, I'll have a half a pint of... Who's paying? I, I... Well, in that case, a triple Irish whiskey. <laughs> anyway, it's too late now. What? Oh, Joe's gone. By the way, we've got a baby face on the front page. Hey, you got my baby on the front page. Yeah. Listen, I can get you some real matai. What's matai? It's, it's, a, it's a, um, I don't know, it makes your gums bleed. No, man, 100%, 150% proof. Uh, can you prove that? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's a Chinese vodka. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, that's my Cheers. Whiskey. No, it's more than that. Okay, it's um, it's uh, a, a, a sugar, sugar, sugar vodka, sugar vodka or something. Oh, okay. Oh. Right. How much? 150 rand, a very special price. <laughs> very special. Mm -hmm. Listen, I can get you a liver transplant at half price. You can drink as much as you like afterwards. You know, two weeks in hospital, but then you can start drinking all over again. Can I get it on Scout? <laughs> Cash on delivery. COD. Ah, uh, COD on my DOA. <laughs> What's a DOA? Dead on arrival. <laughs> Hi, Hank. Hi, Hank. Hey, my lady. Chloe, come, come, come to me. I love it. <laughs>
We all have to compromise. Yeah, but this is not about me. This is about important issues, issues that matter. What is this compromise, anyway? Baby face. What do you mean? Well, you always wanted the face of a baby on the front page. Now you have baby face. That's the compromise. Very funny, Joe. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies. How are you? Well, thanks in yourself. Okay, thanks. And um, how's the baby? What baby? Oh, um, you know, the baby I brought in the other day. Do you remember? Mm. Yeah, I, I kept on ringing and ringing, and your receptionist said she knew nothing about it. So, um, you know, I got a bit worried. What's the name of the baby? Who are you, the father? No, who? Uh, yeah, look, the waste pipe baby. Do you remember? The waste pipe baby. The Whisper Baby? Y yeah. Oh, yes. Is that you? You look different. <laughs> That's because I've had a bath. <laughs> you want to sing? Yeah, it's a hymn. Yeah. Fantastic. Healthy. Hmm? Yeah. Hello, hello, little Hank. Are you sure you're the father? Uh, no, um, no, I'm the godfather. I'm, I'm Uncle Hank. Mm, you know what? Nice. I will take him. Matron. Right. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to look after little Hank. Look at my dummy. It's only for a little while, okay? Okay, look after little Hank Jr. I'll be back. You'll make a fine foster father, Hank. Thank you. Thank you. Come. Bye, little Hank. Bye-bye. Be good. Mm -hmm. 